Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Thimbleweed Park. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous episode, please go check it out. iCard and link in the description will be there. But yeah, let's just continue where we left off. Uh, open door. There we go. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, yeah, sir, Reno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Reno's from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Uh... You, I mean, uh, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? <laughs> yeah, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving Reno. on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, so these machines the are the reason screen. we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said the computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck who? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oof. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run Areno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Which clown Areno? Looks like again? we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Talk to the pigeons again. I can't open that. So Welcome to the S and D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Yeah, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Flashback time. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Put on clown nose, get my beeping joke book back, get my clown fro looking beeping great. 
apply my beeping awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. P.S. My life is amazing and beep you for being jealous. Okay, uh... Tight. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. No. What? You think this is Alice in Wonderland? Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, oh, we nice. have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. <laughs> okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You. Well, you. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Try your skills. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams or you're not getting your joke book back. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. This is Where the f am now. I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. You, I'm out of here. That doesn't seem to close. Uh. Yeah. No waiting. Take a shot. Okay, it's no waiting. All the way back to my safe. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000, trademark, at 4468. Me. Um. My circus poster, featuring the amazing, it came off the wall. I don't want to pick that up. My circus poster featuring the amazing red. I can't push that. Is 
There we go. Hey, take a shot at the target. Give money, Connie Joe. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now, where's my junk box? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only a thousand dollars, and you owe me eleven hundred and thirty-eight, including the interest. Yeah, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full eleven hundred and thirty-eight bucks. Now, beggar off. <sighs> we got prizes. Where am I supposed to get this money? I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown! Ah. That just takes the big bucks. I think I have enough money now. Uh, Win big today! Give money to Connie Joe. Oh, so you decided to pay up! Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke box? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Win big today. It's my joke box. No spoilers here. You have to wait for... Um, get my clown fro looking great. Oh. Oh, I forget the number already, mate. Uh. You. My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. That doesn't seem to work. Now there's the face I love. I've already applied my goddamn makeup, you moron. I won't need any more until tomorrow night. Hey, Joe. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. Okay, go on to stage and insult people. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke um you guys love that pillow factory it's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had paris has the eiffel tower new york has the statue of liberty and, and thimbleweed, thimbleweed park, park has, has a, a pillow, pillow factory you better hope to god that feather pillows never go out of style um Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You guys have a concert violinist playing in the street for ambience. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. Even your roaches turn their noses up at food on the floor now like it. We can do better. Hey, this is getting boring. Um... Oh. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that god's definitely punishing you for something hey you ugly old lady with the hairy mole or is it your parasitic twin whatever it is i hope you bought a separate ticket because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself it's not freeloading in my audience Ooh. You will be forever sorry for what you've just oh, said. No. She's I wretch. curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! 
One of my best shows ever. I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. Cindy. What? What the? Yeah, you've been cursed, this Ransom. Makeup isn't coming off. Nope. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she Ooh. curses you, it's not an empty threat. It's something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about Oof. your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire Oof. in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. <laughs> and that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. and cheer for idiots that's okay i can work with idiots they're easy to manipulate the tron machines are interesting and glad reyes was a little eager beaver and took notes i wonder if they are connected for some reason why i'm here i need to stay focused and solve this murder all right let's just look at her stuff blood of tron okay it's just what they are the corner seems nice enough he should have he should have helpful in solving the case. The computing power of the Tron machines is impressive. I wonder why we never heard of them before. And if they could help in the figuring of what happened to the old pillow factory fire. Control S. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Uh, and turn on notif post notifications so you know each and every time Carl and I upload a video. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.